Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to the Art of Warfare tournament. It is week number two. It is bracket A. And it is going to be the horses versus Paddy's Heroes. So playing for the horses, actually no, playing for Paddy's Heroes first off. It down the bottom right side of the map, it is our purple Protoss player, Paddy. Now try saying that really, really fast. Purple Protoss player, Paddy. Um, and up the top left side of the map, um, it is going to be Opain, our red Terran player, and he is playing for the horses. And the horses, man, just they've just been doing a fantastic job all over the place. There, there are at least two points in the lead in the entire tournament, and I think I think actually they've got six points total. So you get one point for each bracket that a player wins in, so there's four brackets per week, so you can get a maximum of four points every week. And you get one point for winning your series, zero points for losing it. So the fact that there's six points means they're doing extremely, extremely well. And I think um, I think the Paddy's Heroes, let's just have a check what they are at. They're currently at three. So they're, they're not doing all that well, but they're doing okay. I mean, three is all right. It's okay. So, anyway, let's move on. I mean, yes, yeah, so let's move on. And let's talk about what happened with these teams last week. So last week, Paddy's Heroes, we um, actually played a match B, a, um, was it a bracket B game? It was Dutch Joker from Paddy's Heroes versus the Fallen One, and unfortunately, Dutch Joker did lose that game. So unfortunate for Paddy's Heroes. And on the other side, the Horses, um, which one was the Horses? The Horses was Opain, and last week with the Horses, what did we cast from them? I, we actually cast a Bracket C game featuring Squiggle versus Semtech from Wingmen, and Squiggle definitely won that. So that was another one of the games that uh, the Horses did win. So here we go. The Reaper actually keep catching sight of this, uh, this probe. So what could have been a uh, pretty dodgy cannon rush has been thwarted. So he's got to be very happy about that. Meanwhile, Paddy just going for a just just some general sort of stuff. Going to be getting out the gateway. Going to be getting out the stalker. Going to be doing that sort of stuff. Blah blah blah. We actually do have a command center coming down and a factory for Opain. So going to be getting a relatively early command center. Yeah, I mean it's a Terran versus Protoss, so it's a relatively early command center. A little, little bit risky, but he should be fine. I mean he. Well, my mouse is. Mouse is going a bit funny. Goddamn optical wireless mouse has got all sorts of weird things that happen with it, but whatever, it's probably just dirt or dust or something. Here goes the Reaper, actually. Oh! That was an explosion, like you would not believe. And a little bit of friendly banter as well, although it depends on your definition of friendly, but I assume this is friendly banter. Uh, there we go, Command Center almost up. And Paddy has started on his own Nexus, so he's going to be getting the expansion down at a nice time, but still going to be uh, still going to be behind Opain, although Opain does have to put an orbital on this, and he hasn't got any defenses down at the front here. So Paddy may actually be thinking about putting down some really nice pressure, although with only one gateway, I don't see how much pressure he could really be putting down. Bunkers coming out. Oh, he's a bit too late. It's two stalkers and a zealot. That's a very decent amount, and the command center instantly turns back, so Paddy, very, very nice timing on sending his forces out, and Opain, I think he's got enough to deal with it, he's got six marines, another two on the way, and a widow mine just about to come out, he can whack that down on the ramp, be able to do tons of very nice damage, actually just going to whack it right over there, so that should be pretty awesome, he's going to do a scan, sees these guys are still waiting down at his ramp, he's going to have to move out in just a sec, but I think he's got enough. Oh, Widow Mine, bye bye Mr. Zealot. And the, uh, actually the Mothership Core doing really, really badly in terms of health. It's almost got whacked out there. I think as soon as the Medivac comes out, he's got another Widow Mine. Opain we are, will be able to push this off without too many problems. And I don't see Paddy really reinforcing this too heavily, so I feel like this uh, little, bit of, uh, little bit of attack in there is gonna be pushed back quite easily, although, Although Opain is quite happy not to push out yet, not to secure his expansion. He's in 10, 
going to load all of those guys into the medevac. Going to do a surprise push out to Paddy's own base. Not what I would have expected. I uh, not what Paddy would have expected either. I'm guessing because I could not see him running these two stalkers back into his main base. He has got really got no major defensive capabilities back here. In fact, he's whopping in a bunch more units in his front base. So yeah, and a bunch more marines coming out there. So he should be able to hold this off. And meanwhile, he's got a medevac full of marines. So great play here by Opain. Really, really great play. He's thinking about pushing in here. Is he going to? There he goes. He's pushing in there. S just charges in. The Marines coming down. Paddy caught by surprise, warping back his entire force. And Opain, pushing all of his forces back in, gets out again. What a great play. Taking out four workers there. Not a lot, but with these guys warping back in, I suppose it's, uh, it's all he could do to really take out the four. And meanwhile, that has completely secured Opain's own base because, yeah, there are no more forces there that he needs to worry to because they have got walked back to their main base, so. No problems at all for Mr. Opain in this battle. Now, see, you got to see exactly what he's doing. The medevac choosing to go back in, but the main force is still there, and, oh, taking quite a lot of hits there. Not, not all that good a decision. He could have gone all the way around, maybe into the, back into this base, but... Going back into that base, he was hoping these guys had moved on. He was, uh, he was not correct. Not correct at all. This Zealot being a cheeky little bastard, but does get taken out. Or oh, supply caps, that's never a good thing. So, yeah. Here we go, there's another medevac with a couple of marauders going in. So, it looks like he's going to be, uh, double teaming this, uh, Protoss base. Finally taking down that pylon, so that's a good mess. And these guys going for the rocks, so... They're not in a really good position to defend either base. But they can get over there nice and quickly. The medevac going over there it sees nothing he can really attack other than this one probe. Can probably force this base to go down. And here is when he moves the second medevac into the second base. Is that what he's going to be doing? Is that what he's going to be doing? There it is. It's moving forward now. And this guy's just out of range, just sort of teasing them. Meanwhile, the main force comes back in. And oh, Paddy's like, oh crap, this is just a nightmare. Although he's attacking the pilot, so not all that effective. Is Opain going to take his uh, medevac and attack the main base now? Do a little bit of all over the place sort of action? He's not actually. He is going to be attacking this base though. He's probably going to force a cancel on this. Now there we go. He's, uh, he's going to be lifting off, then going back into the main base. Trying to trick Paddy around a little bit. Not going to go straight into the actual base, just going to be attacking a few things here. And the Nexus overcharged. Man, that's got a long range. These guys, not really going to be able to do too much there. Stick it around though, and they will die because of that, so... Bit unfortunate, but he's not really worrying about them too much because he's moved in with these forces. Once again, this guy can't quite get past the force field. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. These forces finally getting wiped out. But look at the main army that Opain has. It's so beefy, it's got two medevacs, and this force of Paddy that's been going all over the place is now going to get directly engaged. Nice force field, but not really cutting anything off. And they're going in, the Immortal gets taken out, it's just a bunch of stalkers now. Nexus overcharged once again, and this should be able to hold off, these guys. Three Marines getting left behind, that's not fun, but... They definitely knocked it back the army quite a bit, however, Paddy not really losing a ton from anywhere. And... I mean, let's, let's have a look at the units lost, actually. Opain has lost one worker, and he's down at 29, so... He has... I mean, he's been doing a lot of great harassment, but he's been slacking off like you would not believe when it comes to building the workers, man. He really, really has. He's on two bases. He's got 29 workers. That's... that's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Opain, but that's just a little bit too slack, man. It's a little bit too slack. Needs to get those workers pumping out, because right now, he is... 25 workers behind that is incredible that is oh man i i i just cannot look at this income tab it's just so bad it's just it makes me cringe looking at that income tab so we're not going to look at it anymore unless we start seeing some workers being built by opain oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man, oh man, oh man. all right so paddy getting up a nice army he's he's got the income advantage i'll give him that much there we go, workers coming back online for Opain. And how many mules does he actually have? He's got a few mules, so that's helping. 
helping to get him back into the game, but man, he's just so far behind on the working count. So far behind. And Paddy has his third base up. He's looking good. He's looking very good. And what has he got here? Just a, He's actually got a couple of cannons. Cannon's not quite finished yet, so worker's going to be going down. He's actually attacking the cannons as a bit of a, a bit of a waste of time because you've got to be attacking the main guys. Pushing in. Oh, will he destroy this? A couple of stalkers coming in. Going for the medevac. This medevac is not going to make it out alive. Only deposits half of its guys, and they are going to get destroyed by ground forces. Another drop actually coming to here over the other side. Hoping to get the robotics bay. That would have been huge if he could have taken it down, but did not manage to get it. Just going to be pushing back. And the drops are just getting owned all over the place. And Obeda is not building any workers. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's just... He, he got a couple, and he's like, all right, that's good enough. So there we go. More workers coming out. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe just me, but when you're in A bracket, I would expect you to keep on the bloody workers. Just keep on them. Get them done. Get them going. And we're not quite seeing that, so... Bit unfortunate, and I think that is going to cost Opain severely at some point in this game. And just the just the uh, lack of economy is really, really going to cost him. I mean, he's already got behind, and a lot of that's losing drops, which is in itself, itself is uh, kind of dodgy. I mean, oh, that widow mind man, he's so happy with himself, and the commander's like, dude, you actually didn't do anything, man. You were kind of useless, so. Yeah, it's going to be so disappointing when he finds out that was a hallucination. Another hallucinated Phoenix coming out, doing a bit of a scare. He's going to see this third base, and that is going to be Paddy's next target, I feel like. Unless he just wants to go nuts. Look at this Opain, man. He's got the armory. He's got the Ghost Academy. He's not got the workers, dude. Oh, man. Get the workers. Get the workers. I mean, 40 is a decent number. But it looks bad when you're going up against 70. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I'm saying. But you know what? No. Even when you're mining on three bases, 40 looks bad. When you're mining on two bases, 40 looks bad. I mean, two bases, you want to you wanna have 30 workers per base. 30 per base. So you're looking at about 50 to 60 to be able to comfortably mine two bases. When you've got a third base... You want to be stretching out. Like, Paddy is stretching out now. He's got 74. He's getting into a fourth base. He's not oversaturating. He's not, like, fully mining three bases and then building more to mine the fourth base. Trying to mine from four bases at once is a recipe for disaster because by the time you really get stuck into this one, you're running out of minerals in your first one. So, comfortably fully mining three bases is a good place to be. And that's Paddy. Paddy's pretty, getting pretty close there. 74. 90 would be comfortably fully mining three bases, but 74 is still good. 42 is not good. It's not good for two bases. It's definitely not good for three bases. And all, all, all I can say right now is it's going to cost him. I mean, oh, that was nice, though. Although, oh, sorry, that was a, that was a medevac. I thought for a sec that uh, Opan had taken a couple of Paddy's forces, but no, that was actually Opan's medevacs that got wiped out. Oh, a bunch of zealots coming in there as well. God knows how they got in there. I thought, feel like there's a warp prism that probably just died. Yeah, there we go. Warp prism just died. So that, well, I don't know. I mean, how many workers did they kill? Where's my units lost? Not that many. There's only two workers lost total for Opain. So that, that attack couldn't have done too well. But Paddy, man, he's still 25 ahead. Although those 25 are all workers. So... Actually, it's like 33 of workers, man. So, I mean, Opain actually has a bigger army than Paddy does right now. It's crazy. Well, he used to have a bigger army. I feel like he just lost a lot of them. So, yeah, bigger army, but... Man, oh man, oh man, he's losing them quite fast. He's lost quite a lot. And, I mean, High Templar, Colossus in the same army. He's just going nuts with the tech. He's got the minerals to back it up, and... He's going to be pushing, but this area around here, great for Vikings. Really great for Vikings, although great for Storm as well, it seems like. Here we go. The rocks are starting to go down. Opain has a bit of forces. I don't know if it's going to be enough once the Storm start flying. His ghost numbers are... Uh, he doesn't have any ghosts. So, yeah, the High Templar are just going to be able to do whatever the hell they want. And Opain is going to go down right here. 
Yeah, it's just, yeah, Aster GG just did not have the economy to deal with Paddy, and Paddy going absolutely nuts there, just really, really nuts. And here I was thinking that uh, O'Pain was definitely going to win because, I mean, his team won three games this uh, this week. But no, this is the game they lost, apparently. So there we go. There we go. Um, thank, thank you very much for watching. I will say he lost this game. It is a best of three, but in this best of three, there are only two replays. So I assume that he lost both games. So yeah, there we go. Congratulations to Paddy. Taking it out for his team. Making it work. Great stuff. Just great economy, man. Just really, really great economy. Going nuts. And I think Opain really, really dropped the ball when it came to building workers, man. He just really dropped the ball when it came to building workers. So that was that was the main thing that let him down. It was a bit unfortunate, but I mean, these things happen. So he will have to do better next week when he faces off against somebody else. So yeah, we'll check that out. Thank you very much for watching this game. This is Harry Muppet. I'll catch you next week for some week three games. And we're really, really starting to get into the heavy stuff here. So, yeah. See you guys later. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.